Snagit makes it easy to take a picture of your screen, edit the image, and send it to an application or website. Let me show you how. When you start Snagit, you'll see this window, which gives you some basic capture shortcuts that we call profiles. Down here you can change the settings for a capture. To learn more about these settings and how to use them, check out the Snagit help file or watch our other videos. For your first capture, make sure the application or window you want to capture is open. Then, starting with this profile called All-in-One, click the big red button. The Snagit window will disappear and you'll see a yellow selection tool crisscrossing the screen. This is Snagit's unique all-in-one capture method. With this, I can easily select portions of my screen. If I hover over an application window, you'll see that Snagit only selects that window. If I click and hold my left mouse button and drag my mouse, I can select a smaller region. Notice how Snagit includes a magnified view of my screen here? This makes it easier to capture a precise area. But this isn't all. Snagit has a unique auto-scroll capture, too. If I hover over a web browser, like Internet Explorer or Firefox, that has a scroll bar, you can see a small button at the bottom of the page. This button lets you capture a vertical scrolling area. And when I click this button, Snagit captures the entire page and opens my capture inside the Snagit Editor. The Snagit Editor is designed for working with screen captures. We have some simple drawing tools that let you add an arrow to an image and point something out. And Snagit has callouts that let you draw a shape and enter text quickly. We have lots of callout styles that you can apply from the galleries or you can create your own. On the Image tab, we have some great effects you can use to enhance your capture. There is a gallery of edge effects that you can preview by hovering your mouse over the effect. And notice this white and gray checkerboard background? Snagit supports full transparency, so your capture with edge effects and drop shadows looks great in any presentation or document. There are other tabs in the Snagit editor that you can learn about in our videos and in the Snagit help file which you can find links to here. For now, let me show you how to get your capture out of Snagit and into your project. A simple way is to go back to the Draw tab and click the Copy All button. This places your capture on the system clipboard so you can paste it into another application. Another advantage of Snagit is its ability to send a capture directly to an application. If we go back to the Snagit editor, and click the Send tab, you can see some basic outputs we provide. We have outputs for email, FTP, and image programs here. We also have outputs for the main Microsoft Office products and an output to TechSmith's Screencast.com site. Let me show you how the outputs work by clicking the PowerPoint output. Clicking the PowerPoint output opens a new PowerPoint presentation and places the capture on the first slide. Something you should notice is that Snagit didn't have to save this image you captured before sending the image to PowerPoint. That's because every capture you take is automatically stored in the Snagit library. To view your captures, just click the folder icon here. And when you do need to save a capture, just click the Snagit icon here in the upper left hand corner. If we look at the Save As options, you'll notice that Snagit not only supports the major file formats, such as ping, bitmap and JPEG, but it can also save captures as a project file called snag files and export images using the Adobe PDF and Swift formats. So those are just some of the basics of Snagit. If you want to learn more about Snagit, check out the help file or follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We'd love to get your feedback and hear how you're using Snagit.